How's it going everyone? Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new little bitty EDC flashlight I picked up. I've been using it for a couple weeks now, maybe three, and I love this flashlight. It is incredibly awesome. It's got some cons to it, but the pros outweigh the cons in my opinion. So let's get into it right now. You want to see what the sucker is? It is the Nightcore TUP. T-U-P, I'm assuming you say TUP. I don't know, maybe that's an abbreviation. Uh, but the Nightcore TUP, see this? Look how weird this looks. You know what this is? This is a little bitty two ounce EDC flashlight uh, with some cool options and we're going to go over those right now. First of all, the coolest option, I'm going to turn it on, is there is a little display right here that shows you the different lumen levels that you're using. Let me mode through there. I'll get closer and show you this in a minute, but it cycles through the lumen levels, shows you how much battery is left, a runtime, and that's one of the cons. I'll get to that in a second. But, uh, I mean, that's just awesome. You No longer do I have to remember, you know, I, I pick up this through night versus this Olight, and I got to remember it had this many lumens at this level and cycle through them all. I can just press that mode button and cycle through all of them right there. Now, another awesome thing about this is it has a turbo, and it is a stay-on turbo because you have to hold the button down to keep it on. It doesn't, you don't click it and it stays on. You have to hold down the mode button, and I'm going to blind you with this. You ready? This little two-ounce flashlight... A thousand lumens. I'm, you're probably blind, right? A thousand lumens out of this little sucker right here, and only two ounces. Now, is this a, a keychain flashlight? I mean, it has a little key ring right here. It came with a little clip. You could put it on your key ring, but that's too big, in my opinion, for a, a key ring light. I like the little O light uh, IR whatever thing is that I got that's like that big, but too big for a keychain, but very small in the pocket. Now, the, it does have a very nice spring pocket clip right here. It is very strong. However, I did notice like if I'm wearing jeans and I have it in just the pocket right there, if I sit down, I'm riding my bike or I'm in a vehicle or something like that, when my leg is in a seated position and the pants kind of push against the pocket, it pushes it out of your pocket. Now, it's a strong clip. I haven't lost it, but it is, it's, I look down and it's hanging out, you know, like this much out of my pocket. So uh, what I did instead is I got a carabiner. I just have the little key ring on there and I have a little bitty carabiner and I have it like that. And then I just hook it onto a belt loop on my pants or uh, I will slip it down inside of like a, a little pocket on my 511s or something like that. But um, specs on this thing, let's go over uh, the different lumen levels. First of all, actually, I'm going to get over here on the table and I'm going to show you up close what these different lumen levels are. All right, everybody, so starting off, this is the power button, this is the mode button. So power on, there you go, you can see one lumen. And it's kind of fuzzy looking, but it's not on the actual screen itself. It's probably either my uh, my camera or something, but it's very clear. It says on the top here, turn it on, level one, one lumen, 51 hours, six minutes. It's cycled through, and it says it's on daily mode, and I'll show you that here in a second. That is kind of hard to see, isn't it? Eh, it's about as good as I'm going to get, guys, but... We're going to cycle through these modes, and I'm going to show you what's what. So turn it on, power button on, one time, one lumen. Cycle through, 15 lumens, 14 hours, 33 minutes. 65 lumens, 7 hours, 23 minutes, and 200 lumens. 2 hours, 14 minutes, and then the turbo you hold down. 1,000 lumens, 18 minutes. So these are approximate run times, and it does openly say that in the instruction manual. It says that these are estimated run times. I found that they are completely inaccurate. <laughs> so that's one of the downfalls here. I left it on 200 lumens. I started a timer, and uh, it did not even get close to there. After five minutes, it was it was off, and it ended up running for almost, I don't know, 30 minutes before I just turned it off myself after it said it only had nine minutes left to go. So uh, these are inaccurate run times. I'm more concerned though. I mean, it gives you an idea at least of, you know, somewhat of how long you have left on certain levels, but I love that it displays the lumen level on there. And then if the light's off, you can tap that shows your battery and your voltage three point. What is that? 3.91 right now. I apologize for any fuzziness. I don't have the, you know, highest end of cameras, but you guys are getting the point. Now the build quality on this, it's a nice body. I'm not sure exactly what kind of metal this is, uh, but here's one problem with this thing. It is not waterproof. The uh, waterproof rating on this is IP54, I believe, which is basically just like it's it protects it from dust and maybe like, you know, a sprinkle from rain or something like that. But you are not going to want to accidentally drop this in the toilet or something. It will probably screw it up. Uh, decent lens. It kind of feels, I don't know, it doesn't feel like the highest quality materials. But overall, for what this flashlight does and having all these different options. So you can also, there's a lockout mode. I didn't show you that yet. But uh, when the, there you go, it's on, 15 lumens. All right, turn it off. You press once and hold. And it locks it into lock mode one. There's lock mode two. I don't remember exactly. All right, lock mode one, I can still, that's right, I can still use turbo. All right, but lock mode two, and I don't 
even remember how to get to mode two, and I'm not going to go look it up. You guys are just going to have to understand that there is a mode two. You can uh, <laughs> do if you want. So, uh, lock mode two, none of the buttons will work. And I'm not, let me see if I, when I have it, yeah, that's one. I don't know how to get to two. I'm not even going to try. But to unlock it, all you do is when it's off, same thing. And there you go. You see it starts to unlock and you're back in business. But guys, a thousand lumens. I mean, that is insanely bright. Two ounce flashlight. And uh, there is one more cool thing about this, having the clip that way. Let me show you what that is. So like I said, there's an option to add a key ring or a carabiner or something, put it on your keys. Like I said, although I like to just hook it onto a belt loop like this, let it dangle. I will use the clip, put it in my pocket sometimes, but like I said, I found that it could slip out of there. Uh, even though that's a strong clip, it's because of how long it is. You know, when you have something like, I've got this one I was comparing earlier. Uh, when you've got something like this, you've got a much deeper clip. You've got more in the pocket. It's not going to easily come out. Being this small, it's easier to slide out of your pocket. But because the clip is positioned this way so that the lens is face up as opposed to face down in a pocket. You can also use this as a headlight. And at only two ounces, that is the perfect size of a headlight. Now I've got this kind of hat, so it's a little harder to get on, but there you go. You can see now I have a headlight, a headlamp, whatever you want to call it. Great for around camp. You know, I'm, I'm doing some cooking, something like that. And, uh, you know, just whatever I need to do now, hands-free. So, I mean, that's an awesome option right there. It's one of the reasons I picked this up. A uh, thousand lumens, small package. This thing is great. Uh, you probably want to see what it looks like in the darkness, some night shots. So we're going to get over to that right now. We're going to go over these night shots real quick. This is the one lumen level. You can barely see that it lit up very little in my backyard. Now we're going to take the mode button. We're going to switch over. This is 15 lumens. Lit up a little bit more. Let me focus that a little bit. Uh, there we go. So a little bit more. And then we're going to go up to this right here which is the 65 lumens, and I can see most of my backyard with that. And, you know, if I, my dogs are out by the fence or something, I can see them pretty well. But then I jump up to 200 lumens, I think. There we go, 200 lumens. Look at that. That's super bright. I mean, 200 lumens shines up a great deal in my backyard. It's probably, I don't know, 40 yards to my back fence, and I can see everything. Then if we go to the turbo, yeah, I mean, just extremely bright. 1,000 lumens. There's no problem seeing anything there. Last couple things to say about this real quick, micro USB rechargeable. There's a little port right here. You can just get your thumb or your fingernail or whatever down in there and, oh, I turned it on. Uh, slide that open and there's your micro USB port right there. So it is rechargeable. That is nice. Uh, I love the headlamp feature of it. I love the hold down for a thousand lumens feature right there. And I love that it stays at a thousand lumens as long as I hold this down. It, it doesn't knock down after like a minute or something like that. If I hold this for five minutes, it's going to stay at a thousand lumens and that's really nice uh, as opposed to other flashlights. Things I would change on this. Uh, first thing is the build quality seems a little cheap. I mean, it's, it's sturdy enough, but I've already got a little ding right there. I've got a scrape up in here. Uh, these do come in two different colors, black or this gunmetal gray with the silver accents to it. Whatever you want to do, they're the same price. Uh, but I would like to see a better build quality. The buttons right here, they kind of wiggle around a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't, but they wiggle a little bit. Not a huge deal, but I'm not a big fan of that. Definitely, they need to make this waterproof. Get that to IPX8 or something. If you can do that, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't like the idea of this, you know, if I accidentally drop this in the toilet or something, it's, it's shot. Uh, now, the price point. 65 bucks, guys. This thing costs $65. I was hesitant at first with that price point, but when I saw how innovative it was with the display and the options of what I could do with it, I wanted to pick one up and I do not regret it. So if you want to purchase one, links in the description box below to my Amazon store. Uh, Nikkor didn't send me this to review. I paid for it myself. Uh, if you buy it from Amazon, it's not going to cost you anything more, but if you use my link, it kicks me back a couple, a couple bucks for the recommendation. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you got any questions, you know what to do down in the comments section to put them there or comments, whatever. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe if I can even get this out. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, we'll see you around the fire.